The historical backdrop of research, particularly within the medical sphere, has left some segments of the public apprehensive about engaging with research. Establishing trust is paramount if we are to achieve a more inclusive research environment. There are a couple of avenues you can explore to building trust between people, you and your research, and to show them that you have their best interests in mind. You could start by introducing yourself, who you work with and why you're doing your research. This could be in a letter, video or in person. We want to provide people with ways to see behind the curtain. Educational resources can help demystify the research process and the meaning of technical terms which could reduce potential misunderstandings and alleviate apprehensions. Consider the initiative undertaken by the Quintet team in Bristol, who crafted an educational video to broadly introduce clinical trials in five distinct languages and shared them on YouTube for anyone to use. As research communities creating and sharing these initiatives helps progress towards the shared goal of trust across diverse communities, specifically to help people feel safe, interviews with people who enrolled and declined invitations to different studies told us that providing avenues to validate the legitimacy of the research can go a long way towards building trust. This can be achieved through a dedicated study webpage, strategic partnerships with reputable organizations and sharing experiences and quotes from past participants. Keep in mind that trust is contingent upon several factors that may vary across different demographic groups, so it's important to apply a couple of strategies in your work. Refrain from making presumptions and if you can, directly solicit the concerns of your target audience. You might discover that your place of work or other local areas have societies you can reach out to. In the case of an IVF project in Aberdeen, the research team wanted to ensure South Asian women were well represented, so invited a group to discuss the research proposal. The group were concerned their involvement in the research would leak into South Asian communities where there is a stigma surrounding the topic. To overcome this issue of trust, this group of women suggested having initial contact with researchers from any other ethnicity. This is an excellent example of the impact of building rapport and listening to the concerns of the target group. Initiating discussion can start by reaching out to a community leader or joining online forums and inviting them to talk to you about any concerns they have.